Welcome back to another video of Card Tricks Forever and today I'm going to teach you this amazing yet powerful prediction card trick. Make sure to stay till the end of the video and learn how to do this magic trick to fool your friends and family. To perform this trick, I'm going to have a borrowed deck of cards from my spectator and it can also be shuffled by them as well. Just to make sure there isn't any setup to this card trick. Now, I'm going to look for a prediction and guess which is which one is my spectator's favorite card. Um I think I'll go for this one. Now, just to make sure I'm not going to change my mind, I'll put this card inside the card box, just like that, and my spectator can grab hold of it, just to make sure. And at this point, I'll hand it back to my spectator, they're going to go through the cards themselves and look for the card that stands out to them, or a special card. So let's say they go for this one right here. I don't know what the card is. You guys can have a look at it. And now, I'll just have them return the card to the deck. And also give it a shuffle just to make sure everything is fair. So right now, they've just selected their favorite card and I've guessed a card so maybe I might be wrong about that but don't worry I'll try my best because in the card box I've made one prediction right and what was your card is it the ten of hearts is that your card yes it is then I think I got it right hope you guys like that Make sure to stick around to learn this card trick. So this will be the tutorial. First of all, you need a full deck of 52 cards. What you can do first is have your spectator to shuffle up the deck because this is a completely no setup card trick. So you can do it with a borrowed deck or whatever. After they're finished, you are going to take the deck and go through the deck and pick out any card you want to. Just say it's your prediction card. And what I'm going to do is I'll grab the deck, the card box, and I'm going to put it in the box. But in this trick, I'm not actually going to put this card inside the box, like actually placing it inside it. But what I'm going to do is have this side of the box, this part of the case can hide the card. What you're going to do is simply place the card underneath the box and pretend you're placing the card inside the card box. You can go ahead and open the box and just pretend you're placing it inside the deck. But in reality, it's under the deck instead of on top of it. After that, you're going to close the card box to make sure you're not going to change your prediction. And what's going to happen is you're going to drop the box on top of the deck. After you've done that, Remove the box and place it aside. And right now, you got the three of spades on top of the deck and you got nothing inside the box. And also, I got another quick tip for you is you should place your deck sideways like this. After you have pretend you have placed the card inside the box, you can immediately drop the box. After that point, you're going to ask your spectator to think of their favorite card. Of course, right now, you don't know which is their favorite card, but you can try to figure it out by first having them think of their card and they're going to go through the deck and look for that. First tutorial, let's say my spectator wants the king of spades and they will pull it out and place it face down on the table. After you got the deck back again, you're going to glance at the bottom card by twisting the deck 180 degrees so that you now know the bottom card is the three of diamonds. Now, have them place the card on top of the deck and give a cut, just like that. Now, you're going to spread out the deck and locate your key card, in this case, the three of diamonds. Now, as you guys can see, 
the card above the three of diamonds is the king of spades which is the card that they selected and this is how you know which one is their favorite card after that you can grab the deck and remind your spectator that you got a prediction inside the box because you still got a card inside the card box so you're going to tell the spectator you might have done something wrong but we'll see after you know which one is their favorite card you can have them shuffle the deck again just to make sure you can't find out which card is their card but you actually know which one is their card already at this point you can just talk to your spectator while you're talking to your spectator you're going to control the king of spades which is their selected card to the bottom of the deck in the performance I think I did the call and I move it to the top and did a overhand shuffle to move the card to the bottom. But if you want to do it in an easier way, you can just spread through the cards. After you've located the card, just split the deck in half and move the card to the bottom. After you got that card controlled to the bottom of the deck, you're actually going to riffle off one card and get a thumb break. So you have their card and the rest of the deck separated. You're going to come over with your left hand and do a gambler's cop, which looks like this, to steal the card out of the deck. So how are you going to do this? You're going to come in with your hand, place your hand sideways like this, and place the deck near the bottom half of your hand. Now curl your hand, drop that card into your palm, and curl this card. After you have done that, make sure the card won't fall or anything like that. You're going to do this at the same time, twisting your wrist and placing the deck on the table. Now, you've got the card palmed into your hand. At last, you're going to go back to the box. You're going to place the box on your hand and square up the card with the box. And now you're going to open the box and pretend pulling out a card from inside the box but in reality you're just pulling the card like this with the cover of the box it seems like you're pulling the card out of the box and reveal that your prediction is the king of spades which is their favorite card i hope you guys like this prediction card trick if you do like this kind of prediction card tricks make sure to check out this video right here i put up on the screen it is also another prediction card trick so make sure to check that out if you have successfully fooled your friends click this subscribe button so you can learn more different card tricks in the future hope to see you guys in my next video and bye for now